So this all this is just a make a practice of how to apply conservation of linear momentum. So what we are we are trying to focus how we can apply conservation of linear momentum in various situations. Uh, two identical buggies, buggies or trolleys, both are same. Move one after the other due to inertia without friction with the same velocity V naught. A man of mass m rides the rear buggy at a certain moment. Mass of the buggy is small m. Let me write m one. It will be easy for us. Uh, symbols again, and capital M. B M two. No, uh, take help of the diagram. Exams, you should not draw diagram. I'm making clear. When you are learning only, you should focus on the diagrams. Now this is M two. M two, a man of mass M rides the rear buggy. Let it be M one. <coughs> moving with the same velocity, both are moving. There's an initial diagram. At a certain moment, the man jumps into the front buggy with a velocity u relative to its buggy. Read it. Okay, now now get it. That one. So earlier they were arranged. No, one moving system. If it jumps to other moving system, what condition? Knowing that mass of each buggy, find the velocity with which the buggy will move after that. So now we'll make the person to jump. So the person is going to make a jump. No, he will make a jump here. After jumping, what will happen to him? <laughs> this will be like this. So this will call trolley A, trolley B. Ah, this. Uh, what do we expect this trolley? That one. I'll 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 assume V A. Well, after this trolley. And it will continue to move uh, even after jumping. Now, what will happen to other person? That th this person, he will land onto this trolley, no? And and let let him land here. Well, after this, B B B. He is asking to get that V A and V B. Let's let's write the equation for first with respect to trolley A. We'll take it huh? for trolley A or re re rear trolley for rear trolley A. It is rear trolley. There's a rear trolley. There's a front trolley. Real buggy, front buggy, or in in that sense. And what is the initial momentum? Initial momentum equal to final momentum. Initial momentum. M1 plus M2 into V0. Finally, the person will have some velocity, say V1, and it will jump with the velocity U R. So, what is the momentum of person M1 V1? That of the trolley. Sir, shall I make V A towards left? It's left to you. That one. I just assume. If I get V A negative, I'll change the direction later. Come for this. So V one is unknown thing which is needed. <coughs> How to calculate V one? So plus U R plus V one plus V A. So U R plus V A is equal to V one. Substitute that. M one plus M two V not M one 
UR plus VA. plus m1 plus m2 into va so this is m1 plus m2 v0 minus m1 ur by m1 plus m2 Okay, this, this much is what? We have this one. Okay, now come for the next part of the problem. You will land from, so from where the person, now the person is coming from the rear buggy, no? And you will land onto the front buggy. How to, uh, what to write here? How to write equation? So what is the momentum of the, uh, you look at only this part of system, huh? look at only this much. This is moving with the velocity V0 and the person is having velocity how much? V1 with respect to ground. So what is the initial momentum of system? M1 V1 plus M2 V2. That should be the initial momentum. And finally what when? You will land onto this and it will come rest with respect to trolley. So what is the common velocity of them? VB. So M1 plus M2 into VB. So I'll, I, I, this, this is what unknown thing, VB, that has to be find out. So uh, from where I should get it, no? So I, I, I know, I don't know V1, no? What to do V1? V know VA and substituting here, I'll, I'll get V1. So it's a very simple. So what I do is the next part. Or front trolley B. Conservation of <laughs> linear momentum, Pix equal to PVF, initial momentum. So this should be equal to, no, you apply it. So initial momentum M1 V1 plus M2 V0. This should be equal to M1 plus M2 into VB. What is V1? V1, we don't know. V1, how to bring V1? So, UR plus VA is equal to V1. And the VA is what you have to substitute here, you'll get V1. Solving that, we'll get the VB. Okay, can you solve it? I'm just giving the ideas. V1 is what you have to bring it from here. Substituting that VA here, then we'll get V1. Substituting that, we'll get the velocity of the front buggy. Okay, first we'll take this, oh, the similar. 